MoneyGram versus RIA money transfer, which is better. Hello guys, Celia here, and in this video we'll compare two companies which provide us the opportunity to send money internationally, MoneyGram and RIA money transfer. Both of them are pretty cool, and today we'll compare their security, is it easy to use, we'll compare their apps, fees, and options to send and track our money transfer. So, Basically, they both have their own apps for Google Play and App Store. And if you're going to look, we can see that like MoneyGram has a pretty high review, 4.9 and 4.5. And also, if you're going to search for Aria, we'll also be able to see that we have like pretty high, like 4.9. And also, like as you can see, um, a lot a lot of good reviews for both of them so it's pretty cool and all apps are pretty convenient to use but what is important as for us like customers is their fees and exchange rates and basically on moneygram and on ria we can easily track the commissions and also see our fees Basically, on the website for MoneyGram, we can easily enter the amount we'd like to send and also what country we'll receive, let's say that New Zealand, for example. So we'll be able to see all the fees before sending. We can click on Estimate Fees and after that, we'll be able to see the exchange rate, how much will um, this um, recipient receive. We can choose a payment option. Uh, like debit card, online banking, credit card, or cash application. And also we can select a receive method like debit card deposit and cash pickup. As you can see, nothing hard. And if we'll scroll down for a little, we can see the total fees like $2 here and total cost. So we can click on get started to start our transfer. And the same thing as for RIA, basically on their main page, like reamoneytransfer.com, they had their own, um, they had their own like calculator right up here, but now they have only this banner instead. So it will be easier as for you to use their app, so you can easily do it. But what is interesting is that try RIA with zero pound fee on your first transfer. So if you are new to the platform, you can easily use a promo code hello RIA to check your things and it will be pretty easy as for you to like get zero fees commission so if you want to send like huge amount of money and if you don't want to send any commissions of course it will be better to use ria the next thing we'll try to compare is that the number of country um, on ria and also on moneygram and here if we'll click on what country will receive we need to go to the previous page uh, it will be better as for us to find the every single case uh, like in a separate thing because for example for uh, a money ground we have a lot of different countries almost all countries performed here but not every every country and also sometimes there could be different um, receiving methods for example sometimes we can only have like cash pickup or maybe bank transfer or like credit or debit card so it will be better to download both apps and to check it by yourself what is suitable as for you. For example, for RIA, we have like 55,000 locations near your recipient in the United States. And also uh, for the money ground, we can click on find location to see all locations in the United States, basically also in some other countries. And it will it may take a little time until everything will be uploaded. But both companies have their own like points where we can easily uh, send and receive money in and from. And depending on your location, sometimes it could be better to use Ria or MoneyGram. You need to know that in like for example here it will be better to use Ria, and there it could be better to use MoneyGram. What is really interesting is that every country, every company provides us the opportunity to interact with uh, tracking and like receiving information. So we just simply need to enter our number of our like a transaction for MoneyGround website and also our last name to track our money. And on the RIA, we just simply need to click on track transfer and after that, enter pin or order number to see all the direct information so it's pretty cool and um, 
if you're going to compare them from the security side, so you need to know that every company is totally secured and basically even if they will lose our transaction, they uh, like prove that they will return their money back to the customer, to us. So yeah, nothing hard. Uh, another thing is about like um, user experience. So the best way to compare it is to open Trustpilot. So here we can see that MoneyGram has like almost uh, like 36,000 uh, reviews with average mark is like 4.5, which is pretty high. We have like 72% of five star. And also we can see that they reply to like negative reviews. So they try to fix the problems with um, different companies like this. So it's like really cool that uh, they can help their customers to fix even if some issues or troubles uh, like happened. And if, let's say that they want to uh, search for RIA. So let's try to check it. RIA money transfer, 4.4 uh, and the number of reviews is like um, 30,000. So basically five star and they also like, they do not reply to negative reviews. It doesn't mean that they are like not supportive. Maybe they do not want to like, um, you know, get some employees to check these reviews and to fix it. But both companies are like, there is like option to get support. So if we scroll down, we can see like um, here, we can find the options to go to help center to find some information, which is like, uh, sometimes it could be really necessary to send money, track money, ways to pay, like some changes, cancellations, some information about three account. And the same thing with MoneyGram, we can go to help center and then just simply find uh, necessary topics. And also we can use a live chat option for the MoneyGram. And also we can contact, um, contact company on Aria through account and some other things. So in conclusion, if we'll compare these companies, um, both of them are really good and it's worth using a MoneyGram and RIA too. But uh, for every single person, it depends on the country they would like to send to and from. For example, for RIA, basically, we can also send not from the US, we can also send from Canada, from UK, as I know. So sometimes area could be better than MoneyGram and otherwise MoneyGram could be a little bit better than area. So I suggest you to compare their exchange rate and fees in your case and also decide is it like suitable for you to use some receiving methods from one company or you can use it from the other one. So yeah, that's all for this video. If you have any questions, you can write them in the comments below. If you want to see some additional information, I recommend you to see my other tutorials about this um, so, so yeah, have a good day. Goodbye.